abroad, really driving a Porsche. Came out suicide with the door. It is a lightweight bout between Conor McGregor and Anthony Showtime Pettis. Here he is, DC, Milwaukee's best, and we're not talking about the logger, Anthony Showtime Pettis. A lot of people wonder what he was doing, moving down to featherweight, then up to welterweight. The proof is in the pudding. Ask Stephen Wonderboy Thompson how he uses his welterweight. Oh, it was, it was unbelievable. But in Anthony Pettis, you see a guy that, regardless of weight class, finds his way into UFC championship fights. He fought for the belt at featherweight, was the lightweight champion, and is now try and accomplish a UFC welterweight championship. One of the better and more diverse strikers in the UFC, and also a guy that has championship experience. He has a magnetic quality that lets you know that at any moment, he can be a breakout star. He truly is the total package, and as such, the stars are out tonight. Anthony Showtime Pettis is back. All right, so here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy. And as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We All right, here we go, round one. A couple of future Hall of Famers here. Anthony Showtime, Pettis, Conor McGregor, both have realized success in multiple divisions in the UFC. Your thoughts on this matchup and how it'll play out tonight? The thing about Anthony Pettis is that he has a diverse array of attacks that he can take to Conor. Conor does a lot of things well, but Pettis with the Showtime kick and the cartwheel kick and all these other attacks he can implement needs to do all that if he's going to win against Conor McGregor. And of course, that success up at welterweight, a huge confidence booster for Pettis coming in there tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice punch lands. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just over three minutes to go. Leg kick. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind him real well. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. So just over 20 total strikes. It looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice stick with the right hand. Big knee lands to the body. And they separate. Just unable to quite find that range. Not there. Well placed kick there by McGregor. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Head off the center line, slips the punch. All 
right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept... All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next okay, round. Right, 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 right. High right. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Overhand left. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put oh. it like that right hand. He's got him hurt here. Dig and kick. And he comes through with a big knee. And we got a fight on our hands. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So 55 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Well, the accuracy rate not too bad either. 43% on the connections thus far against Anthony Pettis. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Beautiful kick. Well, Pettis' lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Good stick. Head kick, that's a miss. Outstanding offering there lands from Anthony Showtime Pettis, longtime pupil of the great Duke Rufus and Rufus Sport there in Pettis' native Milwaukee, Wisconsin. McGregor gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Out of range with that one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful body kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice punch lands over the top. Right hook to the body. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh! How about Where's those five point? minutes? All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, Will on the other, Agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's Third go round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. Wow! Pettis going for the head kick. He misses there. Wow! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Wow! Whip his hip into that kick. Nice liver shot, Lance. Big knee there. Oh! All right, 
So the unofficial numbers tell you 77 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. While the accuracy rate not great, below 40%, now 38% on the connections against Anthony Pettis. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Single collar tie now. What a body kick. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Ooh, what a punch. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change yeah, that finish a little down, wobbly on his feet. Just missed with the straight left hand. Wow! Whoa. What, a what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. So he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Fight schedule for five, Whoa! five minutes. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent repaired. Oh, he might be out. Nice kick. Oh! Stu's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Pettis' lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Nice loop and punch. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh! professional athlete.